Welcome back to GDs to a brand new episode of Hyperlight Drifter, a brand new game here on the channel and a brand new series where it is something where I've been absolutely falling in love with absolutely the entire aesthetic, feeling, vibe, and general kind of play style of this game. It is something that released back in 2016, so it's been out for almost eight years now, but it's still just as good, just as fun. Now, we have not had a whole lot of time to necessarily explore the whole world just yet. Now, take a look at the grainer side of the entire map. There is a lot to behold here. Now, I know absolutely nearly nothing about this game, so I did do a little bit of research to make sure I can give you guys a little bit of an inkling as to what might be coming. I have found out that it takes about around eight hours to fully complete the main story of this game and a couple of side missions. Now, what exactly does that give me in terms of information? Now, this tells me that essentially we are going to be in for about, let's say, eight to nine episodes. But taking a look at the map again one more time. Now, I see four cardinal directions here that we can be kind of heading off in. We have our right side, which seems a bit convoluted with lots of kind of snaking around tunnels and walkways and archways and maybe aqueducts of some sort. I have not been over there yet. We have not been to any of these territories, so I have no idea what's in store for us. The top side seems a little bit more like a straight shot all the way up to the top of a temple. The left side appears to be a lot more forested kind of region, and the bottom side appears to be a very vast open arena looking territory. So I think to start off with, we're going to go down to the south to start off with. And with that being said, let's get started. But what does the eight hours necessarily tell me? So again, that gives maybe, let's say, eight episodes to nine episodes, about an hour long each. But I think that also kind of shows in the fact that there is maybe a lot of exploring around to do. Maybe it's not necessarily so straightforward and, you know, answerable to everything that is being, you know, kind of information given to you. Ooh, these are nice boxes around. Beautiful. So it essentially means that there is going to be a lot of kind of like walking around and kind of enjoying the scenery, kind of figure out what it is that's going on. A little bit of a puzzle game almost in a sort. And ooh, is that a platform? Am I going to fall down immediately? <laughs> that is not a platform. That is the background. <laughs> but you know what? I think that is perfectly fine because it does also allow me a bit of room to kind of kind of commentate more upon just being able to talk in general you know i don't always necessarily have to commentate upon every single action that i'm taking in the game like oh we jumped across here we dashed okay we're walking down south we have a new kind of bridge looking here awesome great no i mean you know it allows you a little bit more room to kind of express yourself and little have a little bit more topics talk about really anything that's going on in your world talk about anything that's going on in the game and what is going on here we have some purple looking blocks some up arrows some side arrows and right arrows um you know what, now taking a look at it, so is it maybe saying that we have to clear the North Temple, the Left Temple, and the Right Temple before we can clear out this bottom side temple? So does that mean that we essentially then need to go in any other direction except the direction that I first chose? I think so. I think that's exactly what it means. So let's head on back up. <laughs> so that's the exploratory part of the eight hours I was talking about. But it does kind of allow you to... Like I say, just kind of talk a little bit more, be a little bit more yourself instead of having to sit there and keep a high octane, you know, energetic type of video that's always going on. Let me look, I am always on the fence as a creator in terms of YouTube in general. I'm trying to how you pace a video, right? You know, what is it? And it, who is this man? Hello, do you got something to say? Anything? Oh, a story. Uh, he looks like a wanderer. He's out in the plains, kind of looking at the city. And then he has a ragtag group of people maybe casting him out. It looks like he's kind of looking back shamefully. Oh, God. And then he was hurt. Yeah, they beat him up in the alleyway. And apparently that is all the information we get. Oh, he's he's drinking right now. He's sad. OK, I get it. They're just telling a little bit of the story. He got beat up in the alleyway, I guess. <laughs> but um, as I was saying, as a creator, I'm always on the fence of exactly how to pace a video because, you know what? Look more power to every other creator at all because how you dictate your content how you control the flow and it is all based basically perfectly upon your personality and oh god we are right into the first combat and they're already taking a couple of hits um all right well they just fell from the sky my god um that is something take a look above i suppose death from above ac 130 um but you know everyone can paste their content exactly how they want because that is the beauty of ow okay don't hit those um <laughs> that is the beauty of you know making your own content that you are essentially selling your own personality but i think that's where the fine line comes in for video games right because at what point like i could make this entire you know eight hour journey into a you know a few 15 minute episodes if i could just cut out all the you know all the boring stuff cut out all this travel time cut out attacking these monsters just go on to the point where like you know i got jumped on and you know have a little quick laugh cut to like maybe something 15 minutes from now when i have another good laugh and something else scares me and you know only show the highlights of what it is that have come to the content and ooh, got some nice 
dilapidated kind of like statues or we saw a destroyed mech earlier something like some ancient gods or civilization a lot of this does have a guise of something happened to a previous civilization barely making across <laughs> so there is definitely a mystery that we need to unlock here but you know i am going to be consistently interrupting myself with just thoughts that are happening you know i'm trying to get a thought out at the same time i'm also you know trying to commentate upon what is exactly happening in the game of course at the same time too don't want to completely ignore it in the background but the point i'm trying to get across is god i took my hand off the mouse for half a second <laughs> see and i could have cut specifically to like that moment too and just you know cut out the previous 10 minutes I, when I play a game, or at least a long game like this, particularly one that has a story to it, or a background lore that seems it's trying to tell us, I don't want to make a video that is all just hot, again, high octane energy, quick cut, so ha ha ha, great, but you don't understand anything that happened in the game. When I'm showing something that has a story, I want the story to be the content, and I am nothing more than, I guess, a vessel for this story, more or less, you know, I am... I, I'm unimportant, you know, I can help go ahead and show you the gameplay and all this stuff, but you guys can always kind of appreciate yourself and playing the game. I am just a vessel to kind of show you what it is that these games and developers have to offer to us. And also, it seems we kind of moved our way over to a waterfall and making progress here over to his right hand side. We are a little bit more in that convoluted area. Okay, so we appear to be kind of following mostly the waterways. I think I'm trying to make my way up towards that big old temple here maybe off to his right hand side if i just keep on heading over to the east i i suppose so oh but we do have to have this long walkway that's going down south i mean hey that's the name of the game is to explore see what's going on so i guess we'll just see which way it takes us but you know i again i'm just a vessel for the game i like to show what it has to offer and i want to put it in a format that people can easily understand chill out and kind of relax along with us at the same time you know a game isn't necessarily always something to per se be beaten as I take more and more damage and I'm already down to two health I'm gonna have to use a heal because I keep losing health by just falling into the terrain <laughs> because I'm an idiot and think I can go dash onto things and I cannot dash onto things and there's a robot man hiding behind this temple what do you have to say for yourself robot man beep boop boop bop you are not a robot you are a toad maybe wait he's telling me a story let's listen uh-huh oh okay he's telling is it like a target I knew it. I know. Okay, so we do got to go to that temple. That is looking like a boss icon of some sort. Okay, got anything else to say there, my man? Or are you just gonna show me the exact same thing again? Don't you? Don't you dare! Don't you dare open up the map. Okay, good. <laughs> but you know, I want I want to have a feeling of where we're all kind of just experiencing the game together. That we are hanging out more or less in a sense. That we are kind of. I, I, I'm gonna keep on interrupting myself with all this stuff that just keeps on happening. Well, first, oh, 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 I, do, oh dodged directly into it. Okay, they are all ranged enemy, taking a couple hits. I, you know, I've not really had a whole lot of combat in this game except those few spiders that have mostly dropped down on top of us. So I don't really know how the dynamics of everything really works out. There doesn't appear to be much of a stun mechanic, or at least not that I've figured out so far. We have no upgrades, no nothing. So when I'm hitting those guys, they were still able to do their attack animation. So that is good to know that I can't necessarily just go diving head first into these guys headlong, just hoping to win out the battle, you know, like you know, fourth spot to a type of situation. But, you know, I, I like the feeling as though that we are kind of all get to enjoy something together, that it is an experience, that it is something that we can all question together. Leave a comment down below. What are you wondering about if you've not seen the game? Can we figure out the mysteries together? Any details that I missed while walking along this path, maybe a different path itself that I maybe missed that I, you know, maybe could have found a secret for. Um, oh God, okay, this is a platform, did not recognize that. <laughs> the depth perception on a 2D game is a little bit hard to perceive sometimes simply by the fact of, you know, between 2D and 3D, sometimes hard to recognize what it is. It, oh, everything's lighting up. Okay, I thought maybe I was gonna be ambushed. But you know, yeah, so leave a comment down below if there are any like secret paths that I've missed walking along this way. You know, maybe don't don't spoil nothing if you already know what's going on in the game, but anything maybe I missed if there's an icon, a oh god, what is happening? I everything is getting all staticky, but I'm fine now. Can I break this fire? Yes, I can. And it gives me ammo back. Okay, I should be using my uh my pistol a little bit more, which you know, in case you guys have forgotten, I do have a pistol. I do have ranged attacks. I have just opted to not use them <laughs> uh let's not go over to the right just yet let's get over to this other side i see there are a few platforms around and lots of hurt enemies and a icon of some sort okay um before we activate that we have a big flame here which didn't seem to do anything okay maybe this button will have something to do with it do i stand on it 
apparently so. Oh, it's not a button, it's a core? What did I do? I got a corner to a hexagon. Okay. Okay, well, hang on. So it's opening something here, right? Oh, wait, I got... Oh, hang on a second. Did I did I see that right? Let's go Let's go take a look. Can I... Uh, first of all, really cool looking map for the inside. Uh, a little hard to tell on the depth. Not going to lie in terms of where exactly it is I'm traveling. It almost reminds me of... Uh, what was it? On the GameCube, Metroid Prime Echoes had a similar fashion, like a very 3D... I mean, this is 2D, but it had a very 3D map, and it's kind of hard to tell the elevations between all the different floors. Okay, very interesting. But if we go to the wider... Yeah, that is what I was afraid of. So if we go ahead and take a look there at the very center of the map, you notice how the giant diamond has a whole bunch of those gray dots in the center of it, and now one of them is suddenly red? How many are there? There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, okay, so four, eight, 12, 16. There are 16 of these cores that I can find around. I'm assuming this entire map in each area may be like there are four areas. So four for each area. I don't know if I ha have to collect them or if they're just collectibles, something of the sort. We'll find out. Let me know down in the comments, honestly, if it's, you know, something I can just like use as a currency. I'm not entirely certain. We saw the shops before, but we hadn't unlocked any like a, a, a currency of a sort a skill point of something of, of the kind look good to see that these don't hurt me uh anything going on, i can't hit these big ones but we do have another core here is this good oh no that's an elevator <laughs> and away i go where are we it's like and by the way what are we again are, are we on the moon <laughs> actually let's take a look at the map no we have traveled further more, yeah, further off to the right we keep on going what is that icon the little diamond looking icon down there on the ground right there on top of my reticule huh i wonder if there's a way i can get on over there i see a couple platforms here off to the left hand side let's go let's go off to the left and explore let's see what's on over here looks like there might be a few secrets that when you see paths that don't really lead anywhere you know that's gonna be something oh a yellow looking block well oh, hang on a second those things look similar to the things i needed for the currency for the upgrades in the shops is that is am i right i got one of four it looked like two four little squares um okay good to know that we should keep an eye out for those yellow looking boxes keep an eye out for ledges also because uh i seem to fall off them a lot i thought maybe this path would go down a little bit further but it does not oh but it does appear to have a like staircase system off to the side but i can't access it yet there seems to be like a giant arm in the way Okay, that's fair. You know, maybe we just need to, like, move it somewhere in the future. There's another way around. Cool, cool. Uh, what was I even talking about? Yeah, you know, honestly, I... Hang on. Hello? Oh, he wants me to heal because I'm bleeding around all over the place. Well, if it heals me up to full... Uh, I mean, I don't have any heals, actually, now that I think about it. I don't, I don't have any heals. What is this? Oh, this is a teleporter pad, I believe, right? Yeah, there we go. And it also refreshes me. So we can come back to this area anytime we need to to kind of get directly back into the center of the uh, map. We are about halfway, about halfway over to the boss area. I'm not entirely, should we be heading directly to the boss? I mean, I guess we may as well, right? Either one, we're going to get, we're going to get our shit kicked in immediately because we have nothing upgraded. Second, I could also just get his shit kicked in because I'm a god at this game. Don't lie to yourselves. I am sorry. I didn't mean to lie to you guys in general because I am not good at this game. <laughs> as we've made out to tell so far. I mean, half the time I get too distracted just trying to talk and commentate the entire time. You know, and, oh, we got ourselves a chapel and a ghost looking fellow. It seemed to hurt him. We got a furry. We got a furry all chained up. All right. What do you got to say? Oh, they're adorable. They're being chased up by frog people. Okay. And then they got ca and captured and beheaded. My God. Holy crap. <laughs> Graphic. Good thing it's all in like pixels. Uh, YouTube, we are. It is. It is just a story. <laughs> YouTube did not demonetize. There is. It is all pixelated. It is all art form. Oh, and then he broke the chain with a rock and escaped. See, now that's some really good environmental storytelling. I mean, I guess it's not necessarily environmental, but it's just using pictures, right? It's not using anything necessarily too convoluted or even words. It's being able to tell an entire story of this character was simply by just images. Three images, I think it was. Four? We didn't really seem to find out a whole lot here at this... Is there any way to maybe get around? I see a path here off this right-hand side that we can kind of get around this temple. We can't get down south. There seems to be something blocking our path and a couple of doors as well. 
Okay, we got a green looking door. I mean, a red door with a green slot on this left hand side. We got a purple door with four icons and one of them are missing. So maybe I just need to open up more areas around here. Kind of like clear out all the zones before I'm able to kind of progress type of situation. Not too bad. And honestly, at this point, I got, you know, I talk so much and I get distracted so easily. A lot of times I just forget exactly what it is I was even talking about to begin with. Besides the fact that honestly, I'm enjoying this game. It's fun. I mean, I'm, I kind of, oh God, I'm very sick. Uh, is there a problem about me moving this direction or is it because I am hurt? We haven't still exactly found out what it is that I am sick from either. I, I don't know if it's just a general sickness, if there's like some weird corruption going on. We found ourselves another elevator. There we go. On down to another chamber of some sorts. Yeah, we have still not figured out a whole lot that's going on. But you know what? On our adventure, we will definitely be figuring it out along the way. And I kind of feel like we're making good time. We've only been recording for maybe around... Ah, I wasn't looking. I looked over for half a second to see how long we've been recording and they blow up. They blow up. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> they blow up. Oh, dear Lord. Use my range. Oh, more being spawned. More being spawned. He's about to blow up again. Hit him once. Move on over. Dash away. Hit him again. Dash away. Please. And thank you. Okay. I'm learning a lot about these uh, about these enemies. Please let that be health. It is not. It was just a button to open up the doorway. But this is some health over here. Here we go. Get this med kit, please. And thank you. Heal myself up immediately because... I, I definitely need to pay better attention. Every single time I look away for half a second, right when I get attacked. It happened last time too, when I took my finger off, off the mouse button just to take a look at the OBS. <laughs> we have been recording for about seven. Oh, and now here's a story. Oh, no, never mind. There is no, it's not a story. It's not a story. I took my hands off the keyboard again. I gotta stop doing that. I've really gotta stop doing that. I'm gonna put this thing at range. It's got, oh God, they've, there are two of them. There are two of them. I have a blaster. Let's use it to my advantage. It goes to the face. It goes to the face. Just smack him, smack him, smack him. He's one health, one health. Beautiful. And they seem to have broken apart into several other enemies. Get rid of them while I can. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay, there are still more beans spawned. Okay, I'm going to do that. Ah, they really dash at you pretty well, huh? Okay, dash out of the way. Get a good shot and move out. Wait for them to attack me. Don't preemptively dash because that will solve absolutely nothing. Okay. <laughs> that is, again, unexpected. I've, I've got to keep my hands on the wheels at all times. I Every time I take them off, I get attacked. <laughs> it is a problem. Seems they'd be trying to hide a med kit down here a little bit on the south side. We have two med kits along with us now. Very nice. Uh, we can't seem to open this door, but I do see a core there above us. We can go up and around, I believe, as we keep on moving around. There is a doorway that he opens up for us. Very nice. And expecting to be attacked here again any second. My health just popped up for some reason. Definitely nothing bad going to happen, right? Your health just pops up because you are in a friendly zone. I cannot hit that. There is terrain in the way. I, there are many, many, many enemies. Where am I? I'm going to run away a little bit. I need to recuperate. Actually, I think I got a lot of them with that couple of slashes. They did kind of all stack up on top of one another. Okay, uh, ranged, ranged, ranged. Use the range to my advantage. They have hit points. They don't go down in a single hit. I just noticed they have hit points. Yeah, these goblins have three hit points. Just got an achievement. Trick a dirk to jump off a ledge. And I apparently also tricked myself to jump off the ledge. <laughs> No. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. You don't lose a ton of progress. You kind of come right back to the start of the chamber. Do I have like lives or anything that I should be aware of? We still have two med kits. I should have been using them. Oh, we have several enemies. They're right on the edge. Okay. Dodge the projectiles. I need to get better at learning these mechanics. So let's stop being so quick about everything and use it a little bit more methodically, right? We don't have to be so... And he just jumped off the edge. <laughs> we don't have to be so hyperactive. Um, I found, I think, another upgrade of some sort. Ow, straight to the face. Okay, dodge away from the goblin. Get out of this area. They really do just try to get on top of you so, like, very fast. This is the next thing you know, you have, like, several units just dogpiled on top of you. Come on, get rid of them. I keep on forgetting the fact that they do not have a stun. Like, you know, once I hit them, they're not going to get stunned for a few seconds or anything of the sort. Their attack animation will still go through just as easily okay anyone else anyone else want to fight me please no okay good let's move on and get rid of all these boxes because who stores this many boxes in one location and not expect someone to break them like i went into a warehouse once and i nearly lost my shit i i had to break everything in that building <laughs> i felt the urge to set it all ablaze 
Beautiful. Open up that core. We do get... Okay, so we are building up a little bit of a diamond. We appear to need to have four of them for everything. Is this a button? It is a button. Probably open up the next section. Yeah, there we go. So we seem to be kind of progressively moving through the territories, like one zone at a time, while in this entire grouping of an area. Deep down of the deep, dark, down deep we go. We are up to three health kits. I should probably be using them a little bit more. I, I am kind of holding off on them a little bit sparingly, but they seem to be kind of throwing them off or just giving them away however they want, as much as they want. Okay, he's going to dash at me. Beautiful. Get rid of that small guy. Wait for the dash. Nice. Get a guy. Ah, he attacked again very fast. Get a hidden. Dash out of the way. Get a hidden. Dash. Yeah, see, there's a method to this. There's a method to this. Let's not be dumb. There's a method. Yeah, he's going to dash again. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, he attacked again very fast. Okay. Um, there we go. Beautiful. <laughs> Let's just take you out now before you get the chance to go ahead and kill me. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, good thing I used the med kit just in time. He's going to dash again. There we go. Okay. Let's use this method to our advantage that he does have a predictable attack pattern to a certain degree. There are several enemies shooting projectiles at me. Got knocked down. No. Ah. Ah. No. <laughs> Again, I'm not the best at these games, which is ironic considering that they're probably one of my my more favorite types of games to play. And yet I'm not good at them. But we do get another upgrade looking icon symbol thingy. Dodge that. There are still more enemies being spawned. Keep on moving around. Use my ranged weapon to my advantage because I have not been using it well enough. Oh, God, I nearly got taken out. There we go. Got the last guy. Ooh, that was close. Oh, nice. Does a little animation, too. I even stuck my sword on the ground there, but it was kind of covered up by the wall because I'm down so south. Okay, heal up, please. Yeah, already down to one med kit now. Yeah, I should be using these a little bit more, you know, frequently. I don't have to be so sparing with them. Um, do I move off to the side? Can I climb up here in this little blue ladder looking area? I don't appear to seem to have a way to do so, but there definitely should be a way to get up there. I, it looks like there's a door there as well, though, so let's kind of keep on moving forward. We'll probably come back around on it. But yeah, you know, a game like this. Oh, wait, this is that green door. God, I interrupt myself so much. You know, that's that's the name of the game when you're commentating, trying to talk about things all going on at the same time. But you still got to keep on talking about the game going on in the background, too, right? You know, you know what? I completely just ignore the fact of what's happening on screen. And I just noticed that someone is playing Euro Truck Simulator 2. What, what is... What is that? Why? You know, I know what it is. Oh, hello? Doggy? Nubai? Anubis? Anubussy? <laughs> I'm sorry, that's a dog. <laughs> um, are, are you a person? They, they kind of look like a person. Looks like a toad or like a frog. Am I staring at a frog man right now? Can I talk to you? No? Should I follow the Anubis? I mean, look, this looks like a path where they're trying to distract me. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Beautiful. There it is. We now have four. What does that mean? Okay, I got... Okay, so that is what that means. We need four of them to make one larger yellow chip. So four small yellow chip make one big yellow chip, and I use chip and eat it. And I take a potato chip, and I eat it. Sorry, thinking of, <laughs> thinking of Death Note. And hello there, my good sir, my knightly knight. You seem to have victoried yourself into a battle against all these ruffians and uh, rapscallions. What say you, good sir? Uh, yeah? Oh, dear. Um, all right. That He's talking about these diamond things. So I was right. Those diamond things are something on the map then. He found one. He was deep in the dark, dark, deep forest. Found out it was a giant evil worm. Good to know. Okay, so how do I get to these, though? Because aren't they not on the path? Wouldn't that essentially mean that they're, like, somewhere off in the water? I'm not exactly sure how we would get to any of them. There is, oh, the above and below ground type of scenarios. I'm trying to get over to those areas, maybe? Hold to warp. Can I warp to there? No, but I can warp to there down below, but I don't know if that necessarily gets to there as well. Very, very convoluted and trying to figure out a way to pathing all this situation. Oh, he even has like a little tent here, so he set up shop. <laughs> he set up shop. He's done. He's got another little tent there too underneath the tree. Okay, so keep on moving up. There's another man dead in the water. Uh, let's keep on moving around. Let's find any secrets that we can. Obviously, it is paying off to explore as much as you can. Right, okay, so back to the topic. <laughs> Euro Truck Simulator 2. Look, I understand what it is, but I don't understand why it is. Like, 
I've played it. I mean, to be fair, I played American Truck Simulator. It's not that much different. It's just America. Uh, is this something over here? Oh, it is. No. And give me, give me something. What are you? A hidden path? Oh. Okay. I'm just gonna keep on walking this direction. Hope I don't fall in the water. And what are you, my large, basilisk looking? I don't even know what you call it. Uh, obelisk. That's the word I'm looking for. Not basilisk. Basilisk is a snake. A strange man appeared and put some text on screen. I mean, I mean, that's not so different from me, I suppose. Can I do something with this information? No, it has maybe activated something on the map. I am not for certain, but I suppose we shall walk back towards this direction and dash across. There does appear to be a giant structure underneath the water there up to my top right there on the map. Maybe I need to activate several of those ovelets to try to activate it and try to get it like rise up out of the water. Maybe where are we exactly? Yeah, okay, there has to be a temple right there in front of us, pretty much. Let's move more off to the right and keep on moving up to the north. I think was our other path aid. Yep, there we go. On to the next area. But you're a truck simulator. You literally just like drive a truck. Like I, I mean, I know that sounds like okay, yeah, you're a truck simulator, you, you drive a truck, but like but why like, uh, but 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 why like you sit there and just drive a truck on roads you have to obey and you can't even just like i mean you can drive however you want uh i think let's go into this red door since we saw since we seem to have opened one earlier a little bit kind of coming into a new place oh hello there good sir i no, let me over let me over let me let me in let me in i see the upgrade thing over there i need to find a way to get around um uh wait there has to be a way i see some paths around here can i dash across no can i like blast my way across no can i oh they're they're keeping secrets from me okay maybe we just gotta unlock more before we get access to it but like you just drive a truck like there's nothing necessarily all that fun about it you have to you, like if you want to get a good score you have to follow the traffic laws you can't damage your truck too much you can't crash into too many things you you know you, in the top of following the traffic laws you gotta follow the, the the stop lights the stop signs stay in your lane like you're literally just driving like, I, I drive 20 minutes a day just for work. I don't want to do more of that. Like, why would I want to, after a long day of, you know, hard at work, I want to drive? Like, why Why would you drive? Um, okay, there has to be a way to get to that, right? I, I can blow it up. Sure, that's fine. But as soon as I dash across, damn it. <laughs> I don't even know why I thought it. Hey, you know, there was a secret path before. Maybe there'll be a secret path right here. There was not a secret path right there, but maybe there'll be a secret path. I'm not going to try it again. I'm running low on health. <laughs> oh, God, they've locked me in. They've locked me in. We are suddenly in battle, and I'm suddenly being attacked by lots of enemies, not just a few. I and I dash into the water. Where am I? Oh, God. Okay. They have lots of these little goo mans that are taken down on a single hit and a musketeer that got taken on a couple more hits. Is there any health around here? I could really go for some health right now. That'd be great. That'd be fantastic. It'd be wonderful. Yeah, dude, be a doll and give me a med kit, please, would you? Anyway, I see a new button. Ah, don't you dare hurt me. I'm trying to press the button. There has to be... Okay, I, these are opening up more pathways for me. There are more kind of musketeer men around. Not too certain what to do with that information. Besides, I think they need to die. He looked at me a little funny. And I don't like funny. I don't like funny faces. Your face is funny. Ow! Ow! No, 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 no. I need a chance to heal, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to get one. I'm just gonna have to just not die. <laughs> I'm gonna have to just not dead. And okay, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, okay, good. We're not losing too much progress when you die. I was very afraid that the first time I died, I was just gonna have to like stop talking for a second and then just, you know, wait until I get back to the area. I thought I was gonna like respawn back in the very center of the map. That would have been a real hassle, kind of a struggle. You know, honestly, I don't know how do i okay i need to be more methodical about this let's 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 be observant make sure we dodge things properly you know there's just a lot going on you know it's a little bit hard to not take damage so it's really about managing your health in the situation you know just like managing your health truck driving is not good for your health that's right i've not forgotten about that topic because i'm still trying to understand what it is about your truck simulator that people enjoy so much i have several friends who play it and every single time i've asked them about it they go eh, i don't know i mean i kind of enjoy it like okay like that's that's all you really have to say it's like yeah i don't know i just i like building up my truck company like okay well you know i, I guess you know more power to you. you can play whatever game you want i just i cannot under i cannot fathom the idea of just wanting to relax with more driving while also trying to follow the law like if you're gonna do more driving 
you may as well just go play like a NASCAR game, you know, like just, just drive around in a big left turn, but you're a lot faster and maybe a little bit more fun. I don't know. You can kind of crash a little bit more. I remember back when I was young, you know, back in my wee youngin days, uh, we did get an upgrade there off to the right hand side and a med kit. Not really seeing a whole lot more. Let's go back up north, I suppose. Wait, no, what is this? What is this? Before we go anywhere, is this a big? No, that's really nothing. Okay. So, you know, I remember when I was back in my youngling days, back on the original Xbox, I had a like demo disc that had like several games on it, like Fusion Frenzy and like one of them like NASCAR, one of them had Wind Waker on it for like all of, you could play Wind Waker for all of like 30 minutes before the demo ended. But I used to always used to like do a trick where if you pause the game right when the demo was supposed to end, you could get like another five minutes. So I just kept on doing that and like till I got like halfway completed with the game in a single sitting. And then I then I messed it up and I couldn't get it back. Like, no, <laughs> but I used to where where was the story going? That's right. The story. I don't want to go up just yet. Let's kind of explore around a little bit more. The story where it was going is the fact that I used to have a NASCAR game that was like a demo NASCAR game. You only had like one map, one race, like one car to use. But what you would do is that you would just drive in the opposite direction. And when you smacked into the other cars, it would send you literally just flying into the air. Just like like Halo, like Halo 2, Halo 1 Warthog status, you know, just absolutely being flung into the air, flying away. And it was just like the funnest and funniest thing to us as kids. It was like the dumbest, like, you know, it's like it's the same thing. It's like essentially just a driving simulator. But, you know, we had a lot of fun with it by being able to crash into things, though. You know, we had a lot more fun with it just because we were driving in a single drag. Oh, is that fire? I should I? I, I kind of want to stand on it because I don't know what's going to happen if I I mean, it's probably going to hurt me. It's probably going to hurt me. I, I want to touch the fire. I'm going to touch. I'm going to touch the fire. Oh, yeah, okay, it hurts me. I don't I don't know what I expected. I mean, I, I expected it to hurt me, and it did hurt me. So, you know, that is science. That is a scientific method for you right there. You have a question, you, you theorized it, you predicted an outcome, you tested it, and you got a result. You know, I have not been able to repeat that result yet, though. Maybe I should go back and burn myself again. But, you know, we'll, we'll save that for another time. I'm sure there will be other opportunities to accidentally burn myself. Well, purposely burn myself, I suppose. We do go down further into another kind of cave. We, I think we're kind of heading over to the right to like another. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to keep an eye on. So we're underground right now. Oh, I just noticed some of these rooms are kind of lining up with these other buildings on above ground. I think some of these paths are kind of reaching the others. I, I don't know. I don't know. Leave a comment down below, which, you know, hey, while we're here, while we have a quick moment, if you guys are this far into the video already, we are about 30 minutes into the video. We've explored quite a bit in this section. If you guys are enjoying my ramblings, if you are enjoying the video, please, by all means, like it. Let me know that you guys are enjoying it. So that way I know that you want to see more because I am going to be making more. But I got to tell you, it does feel a little bit depressing at times when you make these long videos and I'll put in all this effort. And then sometimes just, you know, you don't get any likes. You got no real views and stuff like that. You know, it is what it is. It's content creation. I'm not expecting to be a million view. Oh, hello? Um, am I supposed to be fighting? I think I'm supposed to be fighting you. I, I thought you were looked cute and cuddly. You looked cute and cuddly. Oh God, they split apart or more of them are here. I thought maybe you were like a boss of some sort. Go ahead and get, you have one health left, I believe. There we go. Why, your body's still in the ground. Okay, I was a little afraid there because like his body's on the ground, but the other bodies are not on the ground. Okay, that was a little quick. I think the only way up is up. Oh, but we got a secret room. Yeah, exploring. Ah, I wanted to just take There's a spider in here. No, <laughs> God, I hate spiders. I am terrified of spiders. I'm not going to say I'm arachnophobic, but like I, I'm, a, I, I'm like halfway there. Like I just do not do well with spiders. Not going to lie. I used to like them, but uh, here's a little fun story about me. Back when I was about 16, 17 years old, there was kind of a new, not going to lie. There was a new drug craze going on. Um, it wasn't even necessarily a drug. It was heart, like, it was like heart blood pressure medicine. Something you could take to like lower your heart blood pressure or something off the store. I forget exactly what it was, but it turns out if you took a lot of it, you would like hallucinate. It definitely was not healthy at all for anyone to do it. It was probably very bad for the heart. But the thing is, <laughs> it would make you hallucinate. And I did it a few times and I used to always see, kind of like see things crawling out on my desk. But eventually it started turning into things where I was seeing spiders crawl over my all over my desk. And then one day, one day, 
I took a little bit too much and I thought my entire bed was completely covered in daddy long legs and they were just crawling all over it. Like I kept on looking at it, I got down like eye level with it. And like there were just spiders just all over. Like I kept on looking at it and like I'm, I was like, I'm like, okay, this, this, I know like I'm, I'm, I'm on something. I know that I'm taking drugs right now. I know that this is not real. So I kept on like, but I'm looking at it and I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. I'm like, but no, it, it is. It's, they're covered in spiders. Like I, I was so, I was like rooted to reality, but at the same time, like not being able to believe the fact of like, okay, I know I'm on drugs. And yet somehow I'm amazed by the fact that I see spiders in my bed. But I kept on trying to double check my, but no, I, I do see them. And somehow forgot about the fact that I was, you know, on drugs. <laughs> so long story short, I eventually went downstairs and talked to my parents and I'm like, guys there's like a whole bunch of spiders on my bed can you like come take a look and they come up there and they take a look and they're like dave what are you on there is nothing on your bed <laughs> i'm like oh and that was the last time i ever started taking that story. that was the last time i ever took that stuff because first of all my parents found out and secondly there i was just starting to see things and it was dumb and I, I knew it was unhealthy and like at that point i'm like i'm just gonna go ahead and stop but it did make me a little bit more afraid of spiders because i kept on seeing spiders all over my bed and stuff like that it, it wasn't it wasn't good it wasn't healthy it was not good <laughs> it was just a dumb kid stuff i don't remember how i heard about it but like, i remember like i think it's like one of the more unpopular guys of school suddenly started telling kids about it like okay of course like of course the druggy unpopular guy that's kind of like a you know a uh burnout ah, really i was already that low of health i'm not paying attention i'm, I'm too busy trying to tell a story a drug story <laughs> I hope YouTube isn't gonna like demonetize this because I said the D word too many times. And good, I, I really love the fact that they just kind of restart you in that area. So we're not losing a lot of progress by this either. I can just keep on rambling on. You know what? If you're gonna throw things at me, I'm gonna shoot things at you. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Now, why don't you go ahead and get with the 21st century, my man? Look, that guy has the right idea. He has a rifle. Ah! You're just throwing these little shurikens that I can see and could dodge if I was better, but I am not better. <laughs> I am not better. Go ahead and use up a healing. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and let him throw it. Let him throw another one. Beautiful. Now going for the kill. Now, okay, he's gonna do attack animation and go for the kill. There we go. A couple of easy enemies I can handle, but uh, anything more than that, I definitely seem to take damage. Don't you? Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and rush on you. You seem to throw things in the air that take a second to drop down anyway, so I can probably rush you a little bit. Plus, the projectiles seem to go in the direction that he threw it. Um, do I want to continue? I'm gonna continue off to this room. And we are locked in. Cool. Great. Awesome. Thanks. <laughs> and suddenly I am in danger. <laughs> it's like cue the Ralph meme. We're like, I'm in danger. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I'm probably not going to edit a whole lot on these heal up. I'm not going to edit a whole lot on these videos at all, which, you know, hey, if you're already like a half an hour into the video. Oh, my God. I'm taking so much damage. Oh, my God. I'm bad at this. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. There's so much going on. There's so I need to take care of this shuriken guy. He is a problem for me. Not even these big projectiles beautiful get ah, no. <laughs> I, I will get better i will be better and it looks i get all my med kits back as well from the time that it like auto saved in this area or whatever okay let's try that one more time let's try rushing them up a little bit instead of like you know just haphazardly not paying attention to what's going on and just just running around to be fair i am getting a little bit like what do you call it confused with exactly who my character is like during all of the big groupings of monsters i kind of get not distracted I, I get confused as to which one is mine you know big grouping of enemies dodge out of that i can rush these rocks the, yeah these not these rocks i can rush these frogs pretty easily come on get rid of him these shuriken boys i almost kind of want to keep at a distance because they do surprisingly their projectile attacks are really pinpoint right on top of me which i do not like i do not like that Okay, now let's give this a time. Let's give this another try. Let's try to get rid of all the projectile guys first. Get rid of the musketeers, and then I can dodge the frogs that just like to just jump at me, right? And these guys only have two health. Get rid of that. Where is the other frog? There is the other frog. And another ninja flopping around. Ah, no. Oh, come on. No. All right, come on. Come on. Come on. You want some? You want some? Come get some. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I just realized I don't start with full health. Come on, you want some? It probably gives me the same health I had when it auto saved. Get rid of some of them. Yeah, okay, I'm down to three health, two health. I walked directly into that one health. Get rid of him, please. Thank you. Use a med kit. Blast this guy from a distance. Don't even give him the chance. You know, honestly, I probably shouldn't even waste my ammo because I can rush the frogs just fine. Never mind. I still take damage. Still taking damage. No. <laughs> I don't know how you manage, how anyone can manage to dodge all this. 
Like how how do you keep track of it so fast? Like it just happens so quick. <laughs> Look, if you guys feel like you can do better, the game is on sale right now. I think it's only like seven bucks, which is like, you know, half the reason why I bought it too. Like, oh, I remember this game and it's on sale. Amazing. Oh, come on. I feel like I had enough time to dodge out of the way of that. And I still managed to get hit by it regardless. Okay, dodge all the bullets. Look where they're pointing. Look where they're pointing. Slam a couple into the wall. God, those ninjas are the bane of my existence. I don't know why I cannot dodge them. You know what? I think my problem is, I mean, well, it's a skill issue, but I keep on expecting a dash strike. I don't have a dash strike. Like, I'm expecting I can dash and attack in the same motion, but you cannot. When you dash, that that is your motion. You can't dash and then hit. You have to wait for a moment. This guy's just bouncing over in the corner. <laughs> Uh, I don't seem a way to kind of go down on the top, bottom right at all. Yeah, I need to learn to not dash strike. Yeah, I keep on dash striking. I don't know why it's so instinctual. I'm trying to think of another game that had dash striking. Oh, Hades, Hades. I'm trying to play it like it's Hades. That's the issue. Because Hades was like nothing but dash striking. Like 90% of your moves was just dashing and hitting them in the same motion. But this game, you cannot do that. You have to be a little bit more methodical about it. Because I am, I, I'm definitely not doing that too well. <laughs> there we go. This is going to be a third one. Not too certain what happens when we get the fourth. I mean, to be said, of course, because we haven't gotten that far yet. I mean, I'm just as new as this to you as you guys are. Oh, okay. We come right on back. Wasn't there an elevator around here somewhere that brings you back up? I mean, that was actually just right over here, wasn't it? The one where I said I didn't want to go back just yet. Come on. Where is this going to bring us or where is it going to put us out at? We have one med kit left. I think we have three bars of health that said above. We have a lot of ammo. I should be utilizing my pistol a lot more. I think I've already said that a couple times, and yet somehow I still managed to not do it. So there is no one to blame except myself. Oh, and there he goes. <laughs> he just falls right off the edge. Bye bye. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Um, I, I, I don't need to destroy these, yet I feel the necessity need that I do need to destroy these. I don't know why. How that boat sunk. No, buddy McBoat face. What do we have here? A lot of dock systems. Actually, where are we on the map right now? So we are kind of up to the north. Not entirely certain again where those little diamonds mean because we kind of just came from one, right? So if I take a right, then go down south and then move to the left. So right, south, right, south, and then left. So let's go to the right. The sea was over here. Not a whole lot. Just kind of walking along. Now we should be able to go down south, right? Okay. Move down into the forest. Ooh, spooky. And then move off to the left. And it should be somewhere over here, if I am correct. There is a chest. What did, uh, what did the chest do? So if I take a look at the map, um, we seem to be, no, I need to go up one. I need to go up one and then over to the left. Wait, how do I go up one? Didn't I? It's showing that there's like another kind of pathing right there. Cause like that's where the little reticule is right there. The little diamond is right there. I don't exactly know. I need to be on the top side. The top side at then left. Is that what it's telling me? Hang on a second. If it, that's the one thing I want to figure out. If we can end this episode before we figure out, like I, I need to find out what this is. Like I, I want to find that out at least in this episode. If I can bother with it. If I just go directly left. No, because then we're right back where we started. And then we're like way above. How do I get to that middle ground? I go through the trees and I come out down here. How do I get to this middle part right there? Hmm. You know, again, while I'm kind of moving along, if you guys have these kind of tips and tricks and whatnot that I could be doing better or things that I am missing, feel free to leave a comment down below. Can I make it onto these boats? I'm glad that it, I'm glad that it kind of like locks you on a little bit to like the platforms because i would definitely mess these up if i was kind of like having to actually aim these it's all that work just for a med kit i am i'm half tempted to jump in the water just to see if i can maybe somehow find a way down into that extra pathing because it was it was like almost like just down here wasn't it yeah it was like down towards the side I and mean, we keep on pie passing that middle section so i'm not exactly sure how to get over there you know, and maybe that will just have to be the question that I will leave you guys off with. I'm going to take a look around real quick. Is there like a teleporter pad or something of the sort? And let's go ahead and move on down to the south side. See, take a look exactly what it has because we haven't really explored this area fully after coming down here. So there is another kind of cylinder looking thing. We have another med kit. Beautiful. We are still kind of... What's my health at right now? Yeah, I'm missing a few. If we find another health kit, I'll waste it. 
don't know. I see some purple symbols down below. Oh, wait, yeah. can I shoot that from here? I can. And it opens something. Okay. How do I get over there? We're, we're onto something here, DigiDs. We're onto something. Okay. This is... Hello? I think I... Think I just, what is this? Oh, this is one of those giant elder god looking like robot things we saw in the very beginning. The, the, like the giant rusted out like uh, giant automatons. But he's like in the water now. Oh, that is spooky. And he's like leaking out oil or blood or something out of the water, making it all red and murky. Hydraulic fluid of some sort. But I think it wants us to go all the way around because this appears to be bringing us back up towards the top again. Get out of here. Get out of here. You little explody bastards. Get out of here. I don't want any of you guys anyway. You look like Brussels sprouts. And honestly, I like Brussels sprouts. So I don't like the fact that you are intimidating Brussels sprouts because Brussels sprouts are better than you. Um, keep on moving across. Oh, the path goes down below beneath the walkway. And we have ourselves another elevator and a path that doesn't seem to go anywhere. This is... This is going down? Yeah, okay, we're going down into another section. Going down on a Tuesday. Actually, it's Thursday. You know, I have, I have been singing a lot lately. I am working on a second song, but it's been a little bit postponed simply because I've just been so exhausted from work. My God, there, there a lot of things been going on over work lately. But you know what? Before I even get into that whole spiel, because God knows that's going to turn into like another 20 minute rant, because that is just how I function. That is just how I operate. And it's just who I am. And I hope that you guys enjoy that, because I certainly do. Me, myself and I, they're a great bunch. And I hope that you agree. But thank you, DigiDees. Again, leave the comments down below on anything that I'm missing along the way. I am I'm ecstatic about this game. I know I've been talking a lot about other things at the same time, but I, I, I generally feel a, a sense of actual joy playing this game even though i'm dying i'm having fun dying which is ironic right you shouldn't be losing at a game but it seems to be structured so well like the whole system of this game is just i i'm ranting on way too long it's just gonna be even more topics that i can just talk about in the next episode so if you want me to see me rant down more and gush over more about why this game is fantastic and why it really appreciates the player and its kind of core concept of what a player is then you're just have to watch the next episode so thank you digities i still don't really know how to do any of these outros because i always ramble on for way too long but I can promise you one thing, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you, and bye-bye.